Howdy folks, High Value DMD. In this video, I'm gonna be responding to one of my viewers who left me a comment. Thank you very much for doing that. This comment more or less said, what career should I do if I'm very ambitious, intelligent, and I'm looking to make a lot of money? Well, as uh, those who watch my videos know, I'm in dental school, I'm training to be a dentist currently, and I'm very biased. <clears throat> Dentistry, it make, they make a lot of money, you know, there's no doubt about it. A, a big thing for me when I was trying to choose a career, I don't come from money. I come from a blue collar family. You know, we didn't, we didn't grow up with a whole ton of money. I didn't grow up poor, but you know, money wasn't just available like some wealthier families. So when I was choosing a career, I wanted to find a job. Bottom line, I didn't want to ever have to worry about money. You know, I, I wanted some nice stuff. You know, I want a nice house. I want nice cars. I want to be able to provide for a family and not even have to think about it and just swipe swipe the credit card and, and, and be fine. So for me, I, I always was pretty good with science. You know, I, I could do it. I also could, could do the history stuff. Really, my favorite subject in school is history. But a lot of the liberal arts, the humanities, you know, you've got history, you've got English and all that it doesn't, it doesn't make you any money. It doesn't pay. You know, what can you do with that? You can go be a teacher. You could be a professor, a history professor. You can work at a museum, things such that you could be a writer for, uh, you know, articles online. That's okay, but that didn't fit me. So that whole side of things just wasn't going to work for me. And so I always knew, all right, so the science stuff, anything that requires a high level of education, I always knew that paid a lot. My own father, he he was a he he's a blue collar guy, right? And he would always kind of mention comments about doctors and how how well they do. So that really stuck with me. So I always wanted to get some sort of degree that was like that that I knew was going to be surefire, no question about it. They were going to make money. So it was it was either going to be medical school, dental school, optometry, something something of that nature. And I, I considered being a lawyer at one point, but at that time when I was looking to apply to things, the the law space, it, it, it was oversaturated and to this day, it is still a little oversaturated and the income potential isn't there. And what I saw with dentistry was a very, very large income potential. So I'll kind of share some numbers with you. Uh, one, a, a dentist I know that works in a rural, rural um, town in America, he makes about 400,000. Uh, down the road in a, a little bit more suburban town, an oral maxillofacial surgeon makes about seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand dollars and that 's a lot a lot of money. I know some of you who are wa uh, watching this right now that may come as a shock to hear that a lot of the average salaries out there you know for let 's say a primary care physician will be two fifty a dentist starting out will be one fifty two hundred. A lot of those average salaries are factoring in females who are part-time or older, um, the older uh, physicians and dentists who have parted down their schedule. They don't work as much. Um, so that's not really talking about the the doctors that are working 50, 60 hours a week. Um, and so um, I would highly recommend dentistry in particular. Um, of dentistry, I would say uh, endodontics, a lot of my, my mentors say endodontists, the root canal specialists, they make a lot of money. It's, it's very common for those people to make six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000 a year, some a million. And oral maxillofacial surgery, that's a specialty that I'm interested in. I'll share some numbers with you. I know personally a um, CEO of a corporate dental office and he has shared with me that he pays his oral and maxillofacial surgeons $4,000 a day in their pocket. So let me explain. So usually an oral and maxillofacial surgeon, they would take out wisdom teeth, they would do sedation, anesthesia, and they would they would produce, produce about $20,000 worth of procedures. And so typically in a corporate dental office, you're going to take home, let's say 40% of that. Um, and so, you know, 40% of 20,000, you know, 50% is 10 and I don't know it four to 6,000. So just consider this, if you were to make four to $5,000 a day and another oral surgeon even told me that's kind of low, but let's just say you made $5,000 a day. You work 20 days in a month. That's a hundred thousand dollars. 
$100,000. And if you work all year round, that's $1.2 million. And let's say after taxes, after taxes in your pocket, 800, 750, 800, uh, that's, that's serious money folks. And for, and for what an oral surgeon does, um, the time that they spend doing a procedure, it's maybe 15 to 25 minutes to take out wisdom teeth. So uh, you you can obviously tell that I'm biased. I, I really am interested in oral surgery. I, I'll make maybe make a separate video talking about it, but uh, I'm interested in the field and I, I think it's really cool. You learn a lot of medicine and you obviously know dentistry and also it's highly compensated and that's something I'm interested in. So um, I would I would recommend dentistry. I would uh, medical school is good. Like all physicians make pretty good money. Psychiatry I heard is good. Um, dermatology that's a booming specialty. Um, you know plastic surgery those those guys make a million bucks a year. Cardiology cardio you know though those guys make easily a million dollars a year. Um, any type of surgeon will make money. But a big difference between that route versus versus dental, the dentistry side of things, is typically you're not on call in dentistry, and typically people aren't going to die. Emergencies aren't just super super urgent, and you, you typically get more time off in dentistry. That's why I think it's a superior profession, and in some aspects. So, the medical school route is good. It just takes it takes even longer because you have to do a residency. It is not optional to do a residency, and you know you're in debt. You, that's what that's something you gotta factor in. You're in debt, and you gotta figure out how to cash flow and manage that debt. Um, and so, what are some other things I would recommend? I would, <coughs> excuse me, I would also recommend going into medical sales. So I know of a guy that he did not get accepted into dental school, and he's you know middle aged, got a family now. He went into sales to sell. Uh, equipment and, and different new brackets to orthodontists. And I'm pretty sure he does very well. You know, the only thing is he's commission based. That is a downside. He's commission based and he only gets paid more or less on what he sells. Um, so that sales are a hard job, but you always make good money there. Uh, what else sells uh, nursing that's in the healthcare space, but nursing th those folks, if, if you just want to work hard, if you just want to labor and work hard, nursing sounds good to me, but obviously it doesn't have the perks of dentistry of being able just to own your own practice or building, and it doesn't have as good of um, time off, and for the amount of work you're doing, you're making less than what a dentist does. Um, let's see, what else? Well, uh, stuff like real estate, I know a guy who was going to be a singer. He was going to be a singer and he, he went to a certain music capital. I won't say where you probably know he went there and he just, he's a great singer, but it didn't work out for him. He then turned to real estate and I'm pretty sure he's doing very, very well for himself. I couldn't quote salaries, but you know, I bet you can pull 200, 300 grand if you're, if you're really, uh, you know, selling some stuff. And the last, last thing I would say is the tech space. Uh, you know, I always hear like, learn to code, learn to code. You know, you could work for Apple, you could work for Microsoft and all that. And you could probably do pretty well. Um, and you can work remotely with that, that type of stuff. I, I couldn't quote salaries. I, I mean, I've heard people come right out making 150, 200, depending on what they're doing. Um, that industry though is changing so much. So you got to think about stability and long term. The tech industry is changing. There's automation that's happening. And, and so you, you just never know. You may have a job today, but you may be um, you know, outpaced and you may not have a job in 10 years. So that's one thing I like about dentistry is while yes, there's a lot of innovation, there's a lot of change as far as technology and different ways to do things. Um, I'll, I'll share this, this statistic. Uh, I, I actually spoke with a banker recently and this banker said, out of 100 dentists, how many dental offices fail to start their own dental office? And the answer is actually only two. Only 2% 2 of dentists fail in business. And so that's a very remarkable, remarkably low failure rate. And there's not a lot of industries, there's not a lot of businesses that are like that. So banks understand dentistry. And if you have a track record, they can 
more or less get you the money to help you borrow the money. Um, so tech isn't like that. You know, tech is kind of risky. There's all this new stuff going on. And, but healthcare, everyone is going to need a cavity filled. Everyone is going to need a set of dentures. That is not changing. You know, the, the population is aging and, and, and people are living longer and it, it just, it just makes sense to me. And that's why I chose dentistry, but I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Um, if, if I've earned your like, please like, if I've earned your subscription, please subscribe. Uh, please tell me how I can make this channel better. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Stay hustling.